this ANN News Brief. I'm Lucy Ademi. The Africa Regional Certification Commission says the continent is said to be declared free from wild polio, which usually affects children under five years old. It sometimes leads to irreversible paralysis. The polio vaccine protects children for life as there is no cure for the disease. Death can occur when breathing muscles are affected by the paralysis. Nigeria is the last African country to be declared free from the disease, having accounted for more than half of all global cases shorter than a decade ago. Now the disease is only found in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Africa is today being declared free of the last remaining strain of wild polio virus by the independent body, Africa Regional Certification Commission. More than 95% of Africa's population has now been immunized. The commission says that was one of the conditions before declaring the continent free from wild polio. Two of three wild polio virus strains have been eradicated worldwide. An attack by gunmen in southern Burundi has left at least 15 persons killed. This happened during fighting in Burugarama district in Rumonge province that began on Sunday and continued into Monday. Residents were forced to flee their homes to hide in the bushes. A senior government official said the violence was potentially linked to the imminent repatriation of refugees who fled to Rwanda after fleeing from violence in Burundi in 2017. In a social media post, a a rebel group based in neighboring Democratic Republic of the Congo says it had carried out the attack. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the facts behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network. ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has arrived in the Sudan on a flight from Israel. This is the first visit of such a high-ranking U.S. official to the country in 15 years as the Trump administration pushes for Arab nations to normalize ties with Israel. Relations between the U.S. and the Sudan have eased since last year's overthrow of President Omar al-Bashir. The Sudan wants to be removed from the U.S. list of state sponsors of terror, while Pompeo is promoting closer ties between Israel and Arab countries. Earlier, Pompeo had said he was on the first official direct flight from Tel Aviv to Khartoum, which was described as historic by the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem. He is due to hold meetings with Sudanese Prime Minister Abdallah Hamdok and Sovereign Council Chair General Abdel Fattah al -Burhan. He will also discuss continued U.S. support for the civilian-led transitional government in the country. That is the ANN News Brief at 1. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Ademi.